What's up, healthy people? I'm Dr. Maj, host of the Maj MD channel, here to help save you a visit to the doctor. Now, summer is right around the corner, and melanoma is one of the most feared cancer diagnoses, and for good reason. Why? Because it has the potential to be aggressive and metastasize or spread. It can be fatal if not caught early on. In today's episode, I'm gonna review the tips that physicians use in order to help identify suspicious moles, referred to as the A, B, C, D, E's of moles. And then I'll show you how to select the best sunscreen. Here we go. Well, A is for asymmetry. If you cut the mole in half, do the two halves match? Because suspicious moles are often not symmetric. B is for border. Is the border of the mole smooth? or is it irregular or jagged even? More suspicious moles have borders that are not smooth and round. C is for color variation. Suspicious moles often are not uniform in color, and there may be a dark shade and even a light shade within the same mole, for instance. D is for diameter. Anything larger than the end of a pencil eraser is more suspicious. And E is for evolving. Anything that changes through time is suspicious, even if it's a mole that you've had since childhood. And I've actually sadly seen that happen. So what's the most effective sunscreen to use? Well, you wanna search for a sunblock that includes the following features written on the container. First of all, it should say SPF 30 or higher. It should also say both UVA and UVB protection. And it should include ingredients like titanium, and or zinc oxide, which are most effective at blocking the rays. Did you know that most sunscreens last only about two hours? Yep. so please reapply if you're outside. And guess which side of the body that we see more skin cancer? You got it, the left. That's the side that's most exposed while you're driving. So remember that sun rays hit even in the car and even in the shade. So check out your arms right now. Which one has the most skin spots? Write the word left or right for the arm with the most spots in the comments below. If you have any moles that you're concerned about, it's always best to be safe than sorry. So bring it up to your doctor, don't be shy. If you found the information here useful, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there so that you don't miss any vital health info that can help save you a visit to the doctor the next time. But please remember that all content presented is for informational purposes only. It's not specific medical advice and you should always seek a licensed physician in your area regarding all health related questions and issues. Well, thanks for tuning in. Stay healthy, lathered up and in the shade. And I'll catch you next time.